Turkey, the scenic country that lies at the border of two continents, Asia and Europe, is popular for its serene landscape, historic sites, beautiful valleys, huge mountains and rugged coastline. Whereas with its sun-kissed beaches, ruins of ancient civilization, scenic islands scattered like gems in the sea, and of all, its friendly atmosphere, Greece welcomes all travel enthusiasts with an open arm. In this video, we will share a travel guide to these two beautiful countries from India. The best time to visit The best time to visit these places is from April to September, when you can enjoy all the outdoor activities and water sports. How to reach You will get flight to the capital of Turkey, Istanbul, from New Delhi. Most of the time, these flights include one in-between stop, generally via Kuwait or Dubai. So, while purchasing tickets, please do check the route for minimum fare. And regular flight services are available from Istanbul to Athens, the capital of Greece, while you can easily get your flight back to India from Athens. The Travel Guide Day 1 here, we will start our tour from the capital of Turkey, Istanbul. The largest and most populated city of Turkey, Istanbul has a rich cultural heritage that can be witnessed in many historical structures present here. These structures are directly connected to the Roman and Ottoman empires. Due to these imperial structures, Istanbul is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Day 2 on the second day of the tour, go for a city sightseeing tour in Istanbul. At first, go to see the famous Topkapi Palace, the administrative quarters of the Ottoman Empire some 400 years ago. Topkapi Palace is now one of the major museums of Istanbul. The Grand Palace includes lavish courtyards and stunningly decorated room. The main place to visit here is the Harem where Sultan's concubines used to live. Originally a cathedral and now a museum, Hagia Sophia is the next place that you must visit. It is another prime attraction of Istanbul. No tour to Istanbul is complete unless you visit the famous Blue Mosque. This is a huge and beautiful mosque located just opposite of Hagia Sophia. Hippodrome of Constantinople is located in the Blue Mosque Square. It was a public square in ancient time, used for activities like chariot races, gladiator fights and many more. Next, visit the largest cistern in the city of Istanbul, Basilica Cistern. Built underneath the Stoa Basilica, it has hundreds of decorated columns. At the end, enjoy shopping at Grand Bazaar, the most famous place for shopping in Istanbul. Day 3 On the third day, go to Cappadocia from Istanbul by flight. Cappadocia is an ancient district on the rugged plateau of the Taurus mountain. At this place, you can see soft volcanic rock, valleys, caves, rock-cut churches and underground tunnel complexes dates back to the Byzantine and Islamic eras that are scattered throughout the place. Day 4 On the fourth day, go to visit the famous sites of Cappadocia. First, visit the Gorem Open Air Museum. These are rock-cut monasteries decorated with beautiful frescoed walls and ceilings. The monasteries are built in the early 10th centuries. The multi-leveled Uchisar Castle is the prime tourist attraction of Cappadocia. With rooms carved out of rocks and connected by stairs and passages, you will be amazed by the rustic beauty of the place. The Imaginary Valley or Pink Valley, Devran Valley is the next place that you should enjoy. The rocks of the valley are look-alike of animals like camels, snakes, seals and dolphins. You can enjoy a hot air balloon ride at Cappadocia and get a bird's eye view of the city. Day 5 On the 5th day, fly back to Istanbul from Cappadocia. 
on this day you may enjoy Bosphorus cruise sailing between Europe and Asia. It can be booked online. I will share the link in the description box below. Day 6 On the 6th day, go to Athens from Istanbul by flight. From the Athens airport, the city centre is around 42 km and it will take around 50 minutes to 1 hour to reach the city centre from the airport. There is local taxis available to take you to the city centre from the airport. Day 7 On the 7th day, you can go to visit the local sites of Athens. The prime attraction of Athens is Acropolis. This is a landmark of the city and many of the ancient ruins are located here. Next place to visit here is Parthenon. It is the most famous building in Athens, standing majestically on top of the Acropolis mountain. This temple is dedicated to goddess Athena, the patron of Athens. The temple was built to thank her for protecting Athens during the Persian War. Another important place to visit on the Acropolis mountain is ancient Tagora. It was an ancient marketplace and civic center where people gathered to meet others. From here, go to see Agorayos Kolonos, the temple of Hephaestus built in the 5th century BC. Located on the Acropolis, Erechtheum was an ancient sanctuary dedicated to Athena Polias, Erechtheus and Poseidon. The largest temple in Greece dedicated to Zeus Olympios. Temple of Olympian Zeus is another important site to visit here. The temple is in ruins now and you can only see 15 out of 104 huge columns. In the evening you can visit the huge marketplace Monastiraki and can collect souvenirs. Day 8 on the 8th day, go to another beautiful Greek island Santorini from Athens. Its rugged landscape, romantic solitude, beachside resorts by the Aegean Sea, Kamari and Persia offer countless water activities for the entire family. Day 9 On the 9th day, go to visit the prime tourist attractions of Santorini. The main places to visit here are Caldera. It is the world's only submerged caldera, a thousand feet over the sea level and the principal attraction of Santorini. The stunning black sand beach, Perisa beach is another important place to see in Santorini. Next, enjoy a tour to the most stunning village Oya on this island. Day 10 On the 10th day, head back to Athens for departure. Where to stay? In all the above places, there are plenty of hotels and hostels available with different budget range. You may also book an Airbnb apartment. Among these options, hostel and Airbnb apartments are cheaper than hotel rooms. All these properties have online booking facilities and I will share the online booking links in the description box below. The budget. Almost all the tour operators in India provide Greece and Turkey tour packages as these are the most commonly visited locations. You can book this package online and I will share the links in the description box below. If you love this travel guide then please like and share the video. Also do let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Your opinion means a lot to us. Thanks for watching it.